you can see he sprayed those earlier. That's what all these stripes are here in the background. Those are all the fasteners and all the lap joints. This roof had a built-up system glued to it that took us days and days to get removed. So we've cleaned it, power washed it, and there's some black chunks and stuff in it in a few places, but it's clean. So now you just want to make sure you take enough time and, and get all your coating on here. He's changing the angle of the spray gun a little bit here because we got to shoot both sides of those ridges. So if you have a standing seam roof, we got to make sure that we get the angle and get the seam, the vertical part of those seams coated so you don't have a peeling problem with the coating later. So spraying the roof field right now, changing angles of the gun to get both sides of these corrugated ridges. And as you can see here in the background, all these horizontal stripes on this building, this is where all the fasteners are and all the lap joints where the panels are overlapped. So we went, first of all, you can see, you look behind me here, you can see this, the row of dots right there. Those are all coated, cleaned and coated. Then we sprayed over the top of the laps and the fasteners. Those are your leak spots there potentially. And then when you go back into the field, you spray over the top of all of that. So the, the roof's got basically three full plies of coating on it, minimum on in the laps, the fasteners, and in the field. As you can see, if you, you, you get the right machine, the right tip in it, that this stuff goes pretty quickly. You get a lot of production out of this. And there's uh, the part that we've done this morning, as you can see in the background.